bifurcation theory is the mathematical study of changes in the qualitative or topological structure of a given family, such as the integral curves of a family of vector fields, and the solutions of a family of differential equations, most commonly applied to the mathematical study of dynamical systems. A bifurcation occurs when a small smooth change made to the parameter values of a system causes a sudden, qualitative, or topological change in its behavior. Bifurcations occur in both continuous systems and discrete systems. The name bifurcation was first introduced by Henry Poincaré in 1885 in the first paper in mathematics showing such a behavior. Henry Poincaré also later named various types of stationary points and classified them bifurcation types. It is useful to divide bifurcations into two principal classes, local bifurcations, which can be analyzed entirely through changes in the local stability properties of equilibria, periodic orbits or other invariant sets as parameters cross through critical thresholds, and Global bifurcations, which often occur when larger invariant sets of the system collide with each other or with the equilibria of the system, they cannot be detected purely by a stability analysis of the equilibria. Local bifurcations A local bifurcation occurs when a parameter change causes the stability of an equilibrium to change. In continuous systems, this corresponds to the real part of an eigenvalue of an equilibrium passing through zero. In discrete systems, this corresponds to a fixed point having a Floquet multiplier with modulus equal to 1. In both cases, the equilibrium is non-hyperbolic at the bifurcation point. The topological changes in the phase portrait of the system can be confined to arbitrarily small neighborhoods of the bifurcating fixed points by moving the bifurcation parameter close to the bifurcation point. More technically, Consider the continuous dynamical system described by the O'Day local bifurcation occurs at if the Jacobian matrix has an eigenvalue with zero real part. If the eigenvalue is equal to zero, the bifurcation is a steady state bifurcation, but if the eigenvalue is non-zero but purely imaginary, this is a Hopf bifurcation. For discrete dynamical systems, consider the system then a local bifurcation occurs at if the matrix has an eigenvalue with modulus equal to 1. If the eigenvalue is equal to 1, the bifurcation is either a saddle node, transcritical or pitchfork bifurcation. If the eigenvalue is equal to minus 1, it is a period doubling bifurcation, and otherwise, it is a Hopf bifurcation. Examples of local bifurcations include Saddle node bifurcation, transcritical bifurcation, pitchfork bifurcation, period doubling bifurcation, Hopf bifurcation, Nymark Sacker bifurcation, global bifurcations. Global bifurcations occur when larger invariant sets, such as periodic orbits, collide with equilibria. This causes changes in the topology of the trajectories in the phase space which cannot be confined to a small neighborhood, as is the case with local bifurcations. In fact, the changes in topology extend out to an arbitrarily large distance. Examples of global bifurcations include homoclinic bifurcation in which a limit cycle collides with a saddle point, heteroclinic bifurcation in which a limit cycle collides with two or more saddle points, infinite period bifurcation in which a stable node and saddle point simultaneously occur on a limit cycle, blue sky catastrophe in which a limit cycle collides with a non-hyperbolic cycle. Global bifurcations can also involve more complicated sets such as chaotic attractors. Codimension of a bifurcation The codimension of a bifurcation is the number of parameters which must be varied for the bifurcation to occur. This corresponds to the codimension of the parameter set for which the bifurcation occurs within the full space of parameters. 
Saddle node bifurcations and Hopf bifurcations are the only generic local bifurcations which are really co-dimension 1. However, transcritical and pitchfork bifurcations are also often thought of as co-dimension 1, because the normal forms can be written with only one parameter. An example of a well-studied co-dimension 2 bifurcation is the Bogdanov takens bifurcation. Applications in semi-classical and quantum physics Bifurcation theory has been applied to connect quantum systems to the dynamics of their classical analogues in atomic systems, molecular systems, and resonant tunneling diodes. Bifurcation theory has also been applied to the study of laser dynamics and a number of theoretical examples which are difficult to access, experimentally such as the kicked stop and coupled quantum wells. The dominant reason for the link between quantum systems and bifurcations in the classical equations of motion is that at bifurcations, the signature of classical orbits becomes large, as Martin Gutzwiller points out in his classic work on quantum chaos. Many kinds of bifurcations have been studied with regard to links between classical and quantum dynamics, including saddle node bifurcations. Hopf bifurcations, umbilic bifurcations, period doubling bifurcations, reconnection bifurcations, tangent bifurcations, and cusp bifurcations.